is going on over there? What could it be? Hey Barney, what are you guys up to? Hi, we were actually having a bet to win a race and the winner will decide the destination for our dream trip. Oh wow, looks like we have got a heated match over here. Let's see who wins. Mighty Stallion has crossed the finish line. Congrats, dear friends. Oh, wow. What did we just witness? I felt like my favorite cartoon characters were raising each other. Oh, wait. I have got an idea. Why don't we just animate them like our favorite cartoon characters? Sounds exciting, right? But where and how do we animate them? Hmm. We need a platform to animate these characters. We will be using a platform called Scratch Junior where we can make story animations and interesting games using simple steps. So, for now, what are we going to set up? Yes, we need to set up a lovely farm and our three characters, a chick, a bunny and a horse. Did you know there's an English novel named Animal Farm written by George Orwell? And surprisingly, all the characters in the novel can talk. Interesting, right? So now that we are all set to make the animation, let's jump right in. Let's double click on Scratch Junior installed and saved on the desktop. Ta-da! The screen opens. Oops! It's so small. So let's maximize it. For that, click on the square maximize icon on the top right side of the window. Now let's click on the home icon and see what happens. Wow! We move into a new page. Can you see a plus sign over there? Just click on it. And yes, here comes the working space. Uh-oh, who is that present on the stage? Oh, that's Tick. Well, we won't be needing Tick for the animation. So let's say bye-bye to Tick for now. And for that, click and hold on Tick. And then click on the red cross mark. Yes, Tick has vanished. Now we need a background for the story animation we are about to create. Well, do you see the background icon on the top of the stage? Click on it. And wow, we can see a lot of backgrounds here. Hmm, which one did you like? Oh, that beautiful green background over there? I like it too. So let's click on the farm background and then click on the tick mark. Yes, the farm background is added to the stage. But the farm looks empty, right? Don't worry, I have got an idea. Let's add our three friends to the background. Yes, the chick, the rabbit and the horse. But do you know how to add them? I'll tell you how. To add a new character to the background, click on the plus sign on the left. Wow! Scratch Junior comprises a wide range of characters to choose from. For now, let's search for the chick. And there she is. Click on the chick and then click on the tick mark. Now drag and position the chick in the background. That's done. Click on the plus sign on the left once again to bring in our next friend. Yes, our chubby rabbit. Oh, here he is. Click on the rabbit and then click on the tick mark. Now click, drag and place him next to the chick. Now we need to add the kingly horse too to the background. So what should be done? Yes, you're right. Click on the plus sign on the left 
and let's search for the horse. We got him. Now click on the horse and then the tick mark. Click, drag and place the horse next to the rabbit. Hooray! Now all the three are added to the farm background. Oh, look at them. They really look eager to start the race. But did you notice something little one? They are a bit bigger in size compared to the background, aren't they? So let's reduce their size and fit them to the background. For that, first click on the character box of the horse on the left. Now do you see purple colored block? Exactly, the looks block. So click on the purple colored looks block and then click on the shrink block and drag it to the workspace. Click on it thrice to reduce the size of the horse. Yes, our horse is in the perfect shape. Now let's reduce the size of the rabbit. Click on the character box of the rabbit on the left first. Click on the purple looks block and then click and drag the shrink block to the workspace. Let's click on the shrink block twice. One, two and yes, our rabbit has reduced in size. It's time to reduce the size of the chick. You know the drill, right? Click on the character box of the chick on the left. Click on the purple looks block. Then click and drag the shrink block to the workspace and click on it once. Our chick too has reduced in size. Ta-da! Our friends look super cool and are in perfect shape. So let me share a fun fact that I have learned about these animals. Surprisingly, a horse has no teeth in the middle of their mouth, so they use their tongue to chew their foot. Whereas a bunny's teeth never stops growing, so they use their sharp teeth to chew their foot. In the case of a chick, it doesn't have any teeth, so it uses their beak to peck their foot. Interesting, right? Now tell me, what was the purpose of adding the animals to the background? Yes, they are in to start the race. Oh, it will be so much fun to see who wins the race. Now, let's fix the position that they are standing right now at the starting point. From there, the chick, the horse and the bunny should race to the finishing line. So, are they in a line right now? Hmm, I don't think so. So, let's click on each of them and set them in a line. Well done! Does it look like they have a long distance to cover? Let's see the distance they have to travel to reach the finishing point. But how would we do that? Well, that's where the grid icon comes into action. Do you spot the grid icon on the top of the stage? Yes, over there. Now click on it. And yes, small square grids appear all over the stage. Now to find out the distance our three friends need to cover, let's start to count the grid boxes from the starting line to the finishing line. So start with me now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Great! You are doing extremely well, little one. So now, we know that they have to pass 16 grids to reach the finishing point. Now comes the most exciting part adding animations to the chick, the rabbit and the horse. For that, first click on the character box of the chick on the left. Now click on the yellow triggering block and from the
the yellow triggering block, click and drag the first block, start on green flag block and place it on the workspace. Next, click on the orange control block. From there, click on the set speed block and drag and place it on the workspace. Do you see that tiny downward arrow on the set speed block? Yes. So click on it and you can see three options, namely slow, medium and fast. Do you know why we need it? Well, we need it to set a speed for the three participants of the race. So for the check, let's select the slow speed. That is the first option among the three options in the set speed block. Now let's jump to the next block the blue motion block. Click on the blue motion block and from there click on the move right block and drag and place it on the workspace. Now remember how many grids they have to pass? Correct, it's 17. Now click on the block and you can see a number written under the block, right? Click on the number and a number pad appears on the right side of the workspace. On the number pad, click 1 first and then click on 7 to add the number 17 to the move right block. The animation part for the check is now complete. So we need to end this. For that, click on the red end block and then click, drag and place the first block, the end block on the workspace. Finished. We need to do the same for the rabbit also. First. Click on the character box of the rabbit on the left. Then click on the yellow triggering block and then click, drag and place the first block, start on green flag block on the workspace. Now click on the orange control block. From there, click, drag and place the set speed block on the workspace. Now click on the tiny arrow on the set speed block and click on the medium speed, the second option from the three. Next, click on the blue motion block and then click on the move right block and drag and place it on the workspace. Click on the number present under the move right to bring in the number pad. On the number pad that appears on the right, click on one and then on seven to enter the number 17. Finally, click on the red end block and then click, drag and place the first block, the end block on the workspace. Now comes the horse. Click on the character box of the horse on the left. Click on the yellow triggering block once again and then click, drag and place the first block, start on green flag block on the workspace. Now click on the orange control block. From there, click, Drag and place the set speed block on the workspace. Click on the arrow icon and click on the fast speed, the third option from the three. Next, click on the blue motion block, then click, drag and place the move right block on the workspace. Click on the number present under the move right block to bring in the number pad. On the number pad that appears, click on one, and then on 7 to enter the number 17. And finally, click on the red end block and click, drag and place the first block, the end block on the workspace. Ta-da! We're all set for the race. I'm excited to see them race each other and reach the finishing spot. Are you ready to watch it along with me? Great! So let's watch the race in full screen mode. Click on the full screen icon on the top of the stage. Now, click on the top right corner of the screen. There you see, the race begins and wow, the horse is leading and then comes the rabbit. Oh, poor little chick. She's trying her best though. And yes, our horse wins the race. Kudos to the participants and kudos to us for completing the story animation. Wow! We animated the race of three friends, right? For that, we added a chicken, a rabbit and a horse as our characters in Scratch. 
we followed some simple steps to resize and move these characters. Did we succeed in that? Yes, absolutely. We were able to move our lovely animals exactly how we saw them playing on the farm. Tell me, which was the block which we used to make our characters smaller? Yes, the shrink block. Then we used the triggering block to control the movement of the characters. Finally, we saw the mighty stallion had won the race, right? Also, we fixed the destination for the trip as well. Well, I think we did a pretty great job in turning those animals into cartoon-like figures. And the most exciting part was that we made them move. Wow, that's an achievement. And even though the horse won the race, all of them seem to be very excited about it. And that's the best part about friendship. Because the purest and kindest form of friendship is when you're happy for your friend's success. And with that, let's wind up today's session. I will meet you with another interesting topic. Until then, bye!